good morning students now i am going to teach electric field so already we know coulomb's law superposition principle so all the laws based on charges so coulomb's law based on uh, coulomb's law means interaction between two charges superposition principle we have to apply more than two charges the same charges we have to apply in the field the electric field the famous scientist michael faraday introduced concept of field then next action at a distance what is action at a distance let us consider a point charge kept at a point in space then another point charge is placed at some distance from the first point charge so what will happen either attractive or repulsive force this is called action at a distance so first consider two charges the first charges kept at a point in space the another point charge is placed at some distance from the first charge so either attractive or repulsive force so this is called action at a distance so the electric field introduced michael faraday so this is the introduction part then next what is electric field so nama coulomb's law la padichirukom the rendu charge apply pannuvom and the charge vand first charge q1 second charge q2 the same concept we have to apply electric field electric field also we have to consider two charge our first charge is source charge and second charge is test charge so let us consider two charges one first charge is q and second charge is q not the q is a source point charge and q not is the test charge what is test charge test charge means less magnitude so we have to apply the force the charge will be travel on this line so we have to get the field in this space so the separated by the distance is r so already we know the uh, coulomb's law formula f vector is equal to k into q1 q2 by r square into r cap now we have to apply the charges q and q not so we have to put k q q not by r square or cap so what is the value of k k is the 1 by 4 pi epsilon not then q q not two charges and distance is r square into r cap the value of k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not so electric field means force by charge this is the formula what is electric field what do you mean by electric field electric field is force by charge the charge is test charge is denoted by q not so k into q by r squared into r cap then k value is 1 by 4 by epsilon not into q by r squared r cap r cap is the unit vector so the next one the electric field is a vector quantity what is the unit of electric field newton per coulomb or newton coulomb minus 1 so this is a electric field so first michael faraday introduced the concept of electric field then we have to know action at a distance then what is coulomb's law then how to applicable the superposition principle 
then what is electric field electric field means we have to consider only two charges first charge is source charge source point charge and another charge is test charge separated by the distance is r the next equation part then this is the important one words what is the unit of electric field newton per coulomb or newton coulomb minus 1 then the electric field is a vector quantity then next topic is important aspects of electric field in coulomb's law also we have to learn what is coulomb's law what are the aspects of coulomb's law the same term is what is electric field then what are the important aspects of electric field first what is aspects aspects means qualities what are the qualities of electric field the important aspects of electric field are considered totally seven points it is a very important five mark question the first point is the first you have to know uh, let us consider two charges one is a positive another is the negative the positive if you applied the charges positive means direction of the electric field is outward if you applied negative charge means direction of electric field is inward this is the basic terms next let us consider two charge one is the positive charge another one is the negative charge these two charges the source of point charge so first we have to consider positive charge positive charge means the direction of the electric field is outward and the q not as the test charge so epodume nama or first or charge eduthom appadina p ingra point nama denote pannittu and the point la da nama analyze panna koodiya test charge place pandrom appa nama kedaikka koodiya electric field eppadi kedaikum appadina outward away from the charge away from the point outward la namakku kedaikum so idhu da enna appadina positive charge the q is positive means direction of the electric field is outward radially outward means the radius the charge ku ulle irundhu namakku enna cheyindha the terms nama pogradhunala idu nama enna cheyrom appadina radially outward at the same time we have to consider negative charge a negative charge means the first charge is considered q and the p is the point is this point is considered as the test charge q not and the direction of electric field is inward because the test charge is less magnitude and test charge always positive because the first this is the positive charge q not also positive charge so both are positive means it will repulsive force it will give the repulsive force and second category if you apply negative charge test charge is positive so minus plus opposite charges so it will attractive so this is a repulsive force this is a attractive force so positive charge means direction of the electric field is outward and negative charge means direction of the electric field is inward so this is the first point important aspects then second point second point is the same point this is the concept in the aspects of electric field nama paakradhu ellame same concept da we have to use two charge one is the positive charge another one is the negative charge then first is the same positive charge this positive charge is the direction of the electric field is outward because this force is a repulsive because both are positive charge so the electric field of the force is equal to q not into e vector then next we have to consider negative charge the negative charge means 
the test charge is positive so both are opposite charges so the electric field is towards the field it is towards the field this one is away from the field so this is the important terms so the effect is equal to q not into e vector so separated by the distance is r cap is the unit vector so first point two charges and positive means direction of the electric field is outward and negative charge means direction of the electric field is inward then away from the field there is a um, repulsive force means away from the field and attractive force means towards the field so this is the concept then second point is as usual same the two charge and plus charge and minus charge then it will uh, the direction of the electric field is outward and the negative charge mean the direction of the electric field is inward so it will get the force is equal to q not into e vector and third point is the electric field is independent of test charge test charge is denoted by the symbol q not so electric field is independent of test charge is q not the next uh, electric field is depend of source point charge q so nama electric field la consider pannumbodhu edha depend panni irukum edha independent ah irukum appo q not ingra test charge ku independent ah irukum and q ingra test point charge ku dependent ah irukum this is the third point and fourth point is electric field is a vector quantity it has unique direction and the magnitude adoda direction eppadi irukum appadina unique direction ah irukum same magnitude ah irukum so idhu dhaan enna appadina electric field then next let us consider three different points the length of the electric field vector is considered three different points the strength or a magnitude of electric field at the point p q r p is stronger than q and r because the p is closer to the source charge so q is considered as the source charge and q not as the test charge so this is the source charge we have to consider three different points first point is p second point q and third point r the p is strongest field then compared to q and r because the p is closer to the source charge then next the negative charge the next this is a positive uh, point charge the next one is a negative point charge as consider the three different points first point is p and q and r the p point is produced the electric field is e p vector q point is produced by the electric field is q e q vector and r point is produced electric field e r vector at the same time the negative charge is considered as the three different points the first point is uh, p second point q third point r the p point is produced the electric field e p vector and q point is produced the electric field e q vector and point q r is produced the electric field e r vector so negative charge is produced three different points so this is the inward electric field the direction of the electric field is inward direction of the electric field is outward because this charge is positive this charge is negative so positive charge means the direction of the electric field is outward the negative charge means the direction of the electric field is inward this is the fourth point so if the distance is increase the electric field is degrees in this in the or distance me kammi aachu appadina electric field oda value vandha enna cheyum appadina distance adhigamaagum bodu field oda value vandu koranjirum 
so electric field at p is greater than the points q and r and yes anything any point you can you have consider because p is closer to the source charge this is the fourth point and next fifth point let us consider two point charges so till fourth point we have to consider one uh, source point charge another test charge then next one is the two charges and positive charge and q not also positive charge so q not is the less magnitude q is a positive the real charge and q not is a small in magnitude that means test charge is made sufficiently small that will not modify the electric field of the source charge it the uh, test charge the, uh, the it is the small in magnitude and the real charge means both are positive charge so the test charge will not move the source charge the test charge will not move the source charge so there is no change in the position of charge and there is no change in the magnitude of electric field so these are the important aspects of electric field first is the so first point is the uh, uh, let us consider the two charges positive charge means direction of the electric field is outward and negative means direction of the electric field is inward then the q not is the test charge and less magnitude and always positive that should be always positive charge so both are positive means it will produce the repulsive and negative means opposite charges means attractive attractive means the electric field direction inward and repulsive means electric field is outward this is the basic things and second point also the same concept and third point is the uh, dip dependent test charge and independent uh, point charge and uh, what is the quantity then next uh, what are the qualities the, the unique direction magnitude and then next uh, um the p q or uh, different points edukumbodu adudaya electric field eppadi irukum rendu point charges idu varaikku nama paathad ellame rendu charges edukumbodu adu field eppadi irundichu indha maari different length la vande over field edukumbodu adudaya electric field vande charge um, charge vande and field la eppadi irundichu ngiradha analyze pannom next the important at the seventh point is integration techniques must be used edhila use pandrom appadina the important aspects are integration techniques must be used there are two kinds of electric field the first one is the uniform electric field and second one is the non uniform electric field what do you mean by uniform electric field uniform electric field means it will have the same direction and constant magnitude at all points in space this is called uniform magnetic field and non uniform magnetic field means will have different directions or different magnitudes so this is the important last point so the three mark two marks la kepanga what is the difference between uniform and non uniform magnetic field so there are two kinds of field one is the uniform another one is the non uniform uniform means it is the same direction and same magnitude and non uniform means different direction and 
different magnitude the first is the uniform magnetic field ellame eppadi irukum equal ah uniform ah irukum appo adude direction eppadi irukum same direction but non uniform means ஒவ்வொரு ஃபீல்டும் ஒவ்வொரு டைரக்ஷனில் இருக்கும் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைரக்ஷன்ஸ் அப்போ அதனுடைய மேக்னிடியூடு எப்படி இருக்கும் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்டாக இருக்கும் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் டோ டோட்டலி செவன் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இந்த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் எ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபைவ் மார்க் கொஸ்டின் தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒன் த சேம் கான்செப்டை யூஸ் பண்ணி இந்த ப்ராப்ளம் நம்ம ஒர்க் அவுட் பண்ண போகிறோம் லிசன் Calculate the electric field at points P, Q for the following two cases as shown in the figure. So look at this diagram. The first charge is positive and second one is the negative charge. It consists of two points. One first point is P, second point is Q. In this first diagram, positive charge is considered positive. the point p in the x axis and point q is y axis and the second term this is the negative charge this is the x axis this is the y axis so point p is considered x axis and point q also placed in the x axis so the a yeah, positive charge plus 1 micro coulomb is placed at the origin and a negative point charge minus 2 micro coulomb is placed at the origin so first positive charge la p ingra point la adoda distance 2 meter kuduthirukanga q ingra point 4 மீட்டர் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க இப்போ எக்ஸோட டைரக்ஷன் யூனிட் வெக்டர் ஐ கேப் ஒயோட டைரக்ஷன் அதோட யூனிட் வெக்டர் ஜே கேப் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு டூ த ப்ராப்ளம் த ஃபஸ்ட் கேஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் டயக்ராம் எடுத்துக்கிறோம் ஃபஸ்ட் வந்து பாசிட்டிவ் சார்ஜ் ஆஸ் யூஸ்வல் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபீல்டு நம்ம என்ன ஃபார்ம்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் த சேம் ஈஸி ஈஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் பை ஃபோர் பை எப்சி லாட் கியூ பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் இன்டூ ஆர் கேப் So, 1 by 4 by epsilon means constant k. So, k, q by r squared. So, already we know the value of k. 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 2 squared. What is the r value? 2. So, 2 squared is equal to, we have to cancel, multiply these numbers. Then, we have to multiply the power values. So, 9 into 1. into 10 to the power numerator denominator value squared panamna 4 divide panamna we have to get answer 2.25 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1 because what is the unit of electric field newton back coulomb or newton coulomb minus 1 then next next example 1.6 Calculate the electric field at points P, Q for the following two cases as shown in the figure. This is a positive charge. This is a negative charge. The positive charge is considered two points, point P and point Q. And negative charge also considered two points P and Q. P and Q point is placed on same axis. but this this charge p point is placed on x axis and q point is placed on y axis so 4 meter 2 meter is the distance and 2 meter 6 meter is the distance so what are the given datas positive charge plus 1 micro coulomb is placed at the origin second one is the negative point charge minus 2 micro coulomb is placed at the origin next we have to calculate electric field so electric field what is the formula 1 by 4 by epsilon not q by r squared r cap so what is the charge value 1 micro coulomb what is the r value 2 meter r cap is the unit vector so 1 by 4 by epsilon is the value of k so we have to use this formula multiply these values 
and multiply and divide the values we get the answer 2.25 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1 so first point charge e p vector is equal to 2.25 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1 the second point is e q so we have calculated k q by r squared so already we know the values k value q value and r value so multiply and divided the values we get the answer 0.5625 into 10 to the power 3 so eq vector is equal to 0.56 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1 and second case is negative charge so first point charge p so already we know the value of k charge and distance so substitute these values and multiply divide the values we get the answer 4.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1 so first point charge ep vector is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1 i cap and modulus of eq is equal to the k value charge value and distance multiply divide the values we get the answer 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb minus 1. So, modulus of EQ vector is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 3 I cap newton coulomb minus 1. So, in this problem, we have to calculate two charges. One is a positive and negative charge. This is a positive charge. Uh, p point is placed on x and y this is the unit vector is i x direction x direction i cap and y direction is considered j cap and this negative charge both the point is placed on x axis so we have to consider the x axis is considered as the uh, i cap unit vector so we have put the put the unit vectors so first case we have to calculate p and q point and second case we have to calculate p and q vector so this is the example 1.6 problem and then next one is the electric field due to the system of point charges so already we know the superposition principle coulomb strale nama paathirukom more than two charges ku mele nama use panna abina we have to apply superposition principle the same concept we have applied the electric field electric field also we have to use the superposition principle so superposition principle based on this concept next topic is electric field due to the system of point charges look at this equation what is this superposition principle because we have to apply more than two charges this is the electric field so electric field total electric field is equal to e1 vector plus e2 vector plus e3 vector plus up to plus en vector so let us consider the point charges this is the point charge and q1 q2 q3 is the charge and r1 r2 r3 is the distance and E1, E2, E3 is the electric field. The first charge Q1 produce the field E1 vector. And second charge Q2 produce the field E2 vector. And third charge produce the field E3 vector. So we have to calculate total electric field due to the point charges. So R1 up to Rn is distance is the distance and q1 up to qn is the charges and r1p up to rnp is the unit vector so already we know the superposition principle 
So total electric field is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into Q1, Q2, Q3 up to Qn. The, these values is continuously uh, to multiply the charge value. So we have to use the summation. So 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught summation i is equal to 1 to n into q i by r i p squared r cap 1 p. So this is the system of point charges. So what is the importance? The length of the electric field vectors for the charges depend on relative distance of the charges to the point P. So, over length of earth, for example, if a point charge is in the charge, we will produce over field. If we produce over field, we will force the charge to the field. We will the charge to the field. We will produce distance, the strength, the magnitude, the direction. So, this is the electric field due to the system of point charges. Important three mark question. And one more thing uh, sometimes ask uh, superposition of electric field. So, both are same electric field due to the system of char point charges. Nalum. Superposition of electric field in the same question. So, this is the important question. The next is the example 1.7 problem. The consider the charge configuration as shown in the figure. Calculate the electric field at point P. If an electron is placed at point A, what is the acceleration experienced by this electron? But first we have to calculate electric field at point A. Point A is the point of the electric field. Calculate the what is the acceleration experienced by this electron? So, what are the given values? Mass of the electron, charge of the electron. So, already we know the values. So, we have to use the formulas and substitute the values. The first we have to um, write the formulas. E vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by r square into r cap. As usual, we know the value of k charge r squared multiply and divided the values we get the answer j cap is the direction x direction means i cap and y direction means j cap so as usual we have to applicable the terms then next we have to calculate the magnitude of e a vector point a yoda is the coefficient kandupidikrom but kandupidikum bodu for example if a cap nama unit vector kandupidikum na what is the formula a vector by modulus of a vector the same condition we have to same formula we have to use the this term so e a vector calculate pannuvom then next e a vector by e a cap in the terms adha nama in the formula va use panna enna pandrom appadina kandupidikrom so already kandupidicha e a vector oda value va eduthu we multiply and divide pandra. This is random is same. And then cancel pandra. Remaining term i cap plus j cap by root 2. Next we have to calculate acceleration. Acceleration theorem na namma kena theorem force or value theorem. So force is equal to m into y. So what is the electric field? Electric field means e is equal to f by q. So force means e into q. So the Newton second law. F is equal to M into Y. Acceleration calculate panna, we have to use this formula F by M. So F order value, then M order value, mass order value already namakatari. So we have to substitute this value. Then next multiply divide the values. Unit vector Tanya Kondanum values are multiply panam. Then next 10 to the power 21. Then next multiply and divide the values and unit value was aggregate panero. And we are get the answer, getting the answer minus 0 0.3956 into 10 to the power 21 i cap plus g cap. So minus 3.956 into 10 to the power 20 i cap plus g cap. So unit is Newton kilogram minus 1 because acceleration means force by mass. Force or unit Newton, mass or unit kilogram. So we have to use this term so newton kilogram minus one so this is the example 
answer is minus 3.956 into 10 to the power 20 i cap plus j cap newton kilogram minus 1 students simplify panni dhaan over terms potrukken it is easy adha ungalku puriyum understand panikonga so example 1.7 over students next we have to see electric field due to continuous charge distribution the continuous charge distribution la nama irukka kudiye moonu term edukra onnu vandu line surface and volume so electric field due to charged sphere ah irukalam charged wire ah irukalam we have to take any object so how to charge continuously flow to the um, object so we have to use this electric field and due to the continuous charge distribution or electric field la use panni eppadi oru charge nama create panna mudiyum ovvoru object layum ovvoru vidamana charge vandu eppadi continuous ah nama kadaikingiradha ungalku inda term mulama explain pandrom so content therindave nama easy ah enna cheyalam padichalam idha adudey concept so first let us consider irregular shape charged object the entire charged object is divided into the large number of the elements these are the elements del q1 del q2 and del q3 these are the elements this is the irregular shape charged object so the first element is q1 and second element is del q2 and third element is del q3 and r1 r2 r3 cap is the unit vectors and this is the distance r1 r2 r3 is the distance p is the point charge so first we have to take first charge del q1 the charge is produced at the point p and it will give the field del e1 and charge q2 produce the field del e t and charge q3 produce the field del e3 so these are the elements charge elements unit vector distance and the electric field so or irregular shape object la charge kudukumbodhu ovvoru charge um ovvoru field la create pannum as usual so in previous class we have to learn no so 1 by 4 by epsilon into q1 q2 q3 up to qn and continuous process so we have to use summation so 1 by 4 by epsilon or summation i is equal to 1 to n and qi so continuous terms nal nam enna poduvom qi by r ip and r ip cap so del qi is the ith charge element and r ip is the distance of the point p and r ip cap is the unit vector from ith charge so we have to calculate electric field by using this formula 1 by 4 by epsilon not integral of dq by r squared into r cap so this is the electric field due to the continuous charge distribution this is the introduction part so very most important term is these three terms so this charge continuously charge distribution consider the three category first is the line charge distribution then second one is surface charge distribution and third one is the volume charge distribution so first we have to take the line charge distribution so first we have to consider one charged wire so charged wire means the produce the charge at the point p and distance is r r cap is the unit vector so idu da enna the differential element so in the total wire ude length vand l idil namakku ind element da namakku theriyanum appa ind element nam enna solluvom differential with respect to l so charge so inga marudhu appa dq is equal to lambda into dl and surface charge distribution we have to take one surface area 
so the point is p and distance is r or cap is a unit this is the differential surface area so we have to calculate dq is equal to sigma da and third one is the volume charge volume continuous charge distribution this is a irregular shape object this is the charge and pass through the point is p and distance is r r cap is the unit vector and differential volume is dq is equal to q into dv so lambda is the line integral and sigma is the surface integral and and rho is the volume integral so this is the three terms so important five mark question the first one is the line charge distribution so line a charge distribution is denoted by the symbol is lambda lambda means lambda is equal to q by l q is the charge l is the length lambda is the linear charge density so the linear charge distribution lambda is equal to q by l the unit what is the unit coulomb per meter or coulomb meter minus 1 the charge present in the infinite decimal length dl is dq is equal to lambda into dl this is the differential element so lambda is the line charge distribution so what is q what is l then what is the equation then what is the unit then next this is the important terms charge present in the infinite decimal length dl is dq is equal to lambda into dl so we have to calculate total charge e vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon r integral lambda into dl by r square r cap is equal to lambda by 4 by epsilon r integral dl by r square r cap as usual electric field oda formula da 1 by epsilon r inge nam eduthu kudi and charge differential element und lambda dl by r square because q is the charge so next lambda by 4 by epsilon r value la eduthrom the remaining term dl by r square into r cap so this is the line charge distribution the next one is the surface charge distribution surface is denoted by the symbol is sigma sigma is equal to q by a q is the charge and a is the area sigma is the surface charge density what is the uh, symbol what is the symbol sigma sigma is equal to charge by area surface means area so what is the unit unit coulomb per square meter or another unit coulomb meter minus 2 the charge present in the infinite decimal area da is dq is equal to sigma into da this is the surface charge distribution line means adude length ipo or wire eduthom appadina adude total length kandupidikanum appo adude lambda is equal to and the length ku evlo charge kudukrom and the wire ku evlo charge kudukrom and the wire evlo length la irukengiradhu dhaan q by l surface nu solumbodhu area அப்போ அந்த ஏரியாவில் எவ்வளோ சார்ஜ் கொடுக்குறோம் அதுதான் கியூ அந்த ஏரியாவை தான் ஏ ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு கேல்குலேட் த சார்ஜ் இன் பை இன்ஃபைனைட் டெசிமல் ஏரியா சிக்மா இன்ட்டு டிஏ அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு கேல்குலேட் டோட்டல் சார்ஜ் இ வெக்டாஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் பை ஃபோர் பை எப்சிலான் ஆர்ட் இன்டெகரல் ஆஃப் சிக்மா டிஏ பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் ஆர் கேப் சீக்குவல் டு ஒன் பை ஃபோர் பை எப்சிலான் சிக்மா வெளியில் எடுத்துட்டோம் ரிமைனிங் டேம் integral of da by r square into r cap at the last the third category is volume charge distribution volume is denoted by the symbol is rho rho is equal to q by v q is the charge v is the volume and rho is the charge density first is the linear density first line la varakudiya the linear density volume la varakudiya the charge density unit is coulomb per cubic meter or uh, another unit is coulomb meter minus 3 so then second term in the row the charge present in the infinite decimal volume element dv so dq is equal to rho into dv so next we have to calculate total charge e vector is equal to 
वन बै फोर पै एसिलानाट इंटग्रल आफ रो इंट डिवि बै आस्कोयर इंटू आर कैर सो वन बै फोर पै एसिलानाट रोव काम वेटो अब रिमेनिंग टर्म डिवि बै आस्कर इंटू आर कैर सो दी आर द इंपार्ट टर्म्स फर्स्ट लाइन इंटग्रल सर्फन चार्ज सर्फे चार्ज वालूम चार्ज लयन चार्ज लैमडा बै क्यू क्यूएल अंड वाट इस लैमडा वाट इस डी क्यू अंड वाट इस एलक्ट्रिक फीलड मू कंटा वो नम कटरी सर्फे चार्ज वाट इस सर्फे इटक्वे यूनिट अंड डी क्यू नेक्स्ट वाट इस एलक्ट्रिक फीलड And third category is volume charge distribution. Volume is denoted by rho is equal to Q by V, and Q is the charge. And next unit, then next total charge we have to calculate by using the electric field formula. So electric field one by four by epsilon naught rho integral dv by r square into r cap. This is the important. Very very important five mark question. So electric in this class we have to see electric field due to the continuous charge distribution and line charge surface charge volume charge. So this is the important five mark question. Today homework is. Define electric field. Explain about important aspects of electric field. And example one point six, one point seven. Then next, how do we determine the electric field due to a continuous charge distribution? Ex explain. So this is the two mark question. This three two uh, these two questions five mark question and these two problems. Dear students. Today class is over. Today I'll give two questions, three questions, and two problems. So don't waste your time. Please utilize this time and do all the homework. Thank you, students. We will see next class. Thank you.